The ability to get a document done quickly is something that a professional can use to add value in the workplace by making themselves more efficient. And that's what I want to share with you in this video, the four templates that I like to use to move quickly as a professional to write documents quickly. Those four templates are a report, a letter, a quick appendix that you can attach to a letter or a report, and meeting minutes. And those are the four templates that I've gone through into detail in other videos on this channel about how to add in Microsoft Word. But I wanted to share with you in this one about the sorts of features that are included on each of those templates and how you can put together a template like that for yourself as a professional to help deliver documents quickly. And so I thought as a professional, it would be good to have these sets of templates available to yourselves. If your organization doesn't have them, this is your opportunity to create some professional looking templates that will help take advantage of uh, when you have some time, when you don't have much time to put something together, you can call on these templates. So to recap, those four templates are a report, a letter, a quick appendix or attachment that you can add to the report and meeting minutes. And I'm going to go through into more detail now about what each of those are. So in a report, some of the key features to look for here, I've got a report template that we made in a previous video up on the screen. So we've got the uh, title, we've got this nice title here for the report. We've got our, uh, sorry, I'm putting it this side. So we've got our uh, cover image as well. We've got a nice cover image that reflects what's going on in the report. We've got some document control information down there as well. Uh, and the contents of the report as well. We've got our headings and table of contents. So that table of contents in Word is built from the headings that we've put in. Uh, so we used Word styles to define that, highly recommended. If you're interested in the step-by-step -step of how we put this document together, uh, I'll, I'll leave a card link here to follow so that you can see step-by-step -step how to do that. Uh, we've also got the header and footer information in this document. So that contains things like our title of our report, our page number, our reference number. Document control is going to be a common theme throughout this uh, video where uh, having a right number assigned to a document, having a number assigned to a document within a system gives the reader confidence that this document has been produced professionally. So the second template then is the letter template. This one was done most recently. You can see we've got our new branding at the top there, engineered upgrade, improving the value of professionals. We've got our addresses for our client. One of the things I wanted to highlight in this template is the use of a bolded subject line. You can see your eyes are drawn straight to the subject line in this letter, and that can be an important feature to use in your own letter templates. I did a, I analyzed a lot of the letter templates out there on the internet, the free templates that are available, and found that a subject line was often something that was missing. Some did have it, and I found this to be very valuable in the past because you can include a project name or an engagement or, or the last discussion with, with whoever you're sending the letter to in this subject line to remind that person of why they should be reading this letter to entice them a little bit. Uh, we've also got our address there in some nice branded colors. But uh, if you can read there closely in this one, one of the contents of the letter says, please refer to the attached. So please refer to the attachment. And this is something that I use quite often. I, I've often found where we are writing a letter or a report and we need to create an attachment to it. Perhaps we need to create an appendix or an attachment or include some more technical information that, let, let's say I wanted to include some figures in a graph, I'm an engineer originally. It, it, let's say you wanted to include some figures and some graphs in this, in this letter. It doesn't work very well, does it? So I've developed a template for an appendix or attachment that you can put together with a letter to then show off that technical information or to go into a more detailed description. I kind of like to think of this one as a mini report and that's where I've used it in the past where I want a document that's branded in our company branding that looks professional, that has the reference number and the document control, but isn't a full report. And that's why I put this template together that I feel it's a nicer template to use than a report. Let's say you only wanted to write five pages of technical information to accompany a letter. You wanted to include some graphs or figures or tables. As I've recommended in other videos, make sure you do include graphs, figures and tables. Then it's not appropriate to put those things into a letter. It's not appropriate to put those things into a report. It's going to add a lot of bulk that people don't want to read. Because imagine you've received a letter. The last thing you want to do is, okay, well, yes, they've got a cover image on the report and they've got a table of contents and it looks very long as you're flicking through it. No, no, you want the information quickly. And getting information quickly is, is one of the key messages I like to share on this channel about how you can share information quickly, how you can engage people quickly with the message that you want to get across. And this is the sort of template that I like to put together 
to get your message across quickly. Where you can quickly knock up, uh, this, this features just two heading levels. So you can quickly knock up some uh, brief information to include under those heading levels to then share with, with whoever you're, you're getting your message to. So that could be the busy executive who only wants to read a one page summary of all the information. That could be uh, a brief, uh, the technical parts, the technical scope that accompanies a contract. So this could be just a brief overview of, of that uh, technical scope. This could be some graphs or figures that you want to reference in your letter. It can just be in this nice quick attachment like this. So I'll leave a link to the video. I'll leave a link to all the videos where I've developed these. This quick appendix or quick attachment is a document that I like to reach for often. So the fourth and final document that we have here is our meeting minute template. I like to use this one. I reach for this one whenever we're going for a meeting, even if it's a quick informal meeting, having the template available gives us the opportunity to record everything that was said in that meeting. So the, the formalities around it, the uh, subject, the date, the time, the location, the attendees, okay, they can be filled in later if you're just reaching for a quick template. However, this does give you the option of having a professional looking meeting template. We've got information about the current meeting. We've got information about the next meeting. And again, we've got that document control, that key information down the bottom there. We've also got, this is actually using our older engineered upgrade branding along the top, but it does tell you which organization is putting this document together. And it tells you about the things that were discussed in the meeting, the important features of meeting minutes. So those are the four templates that uh, I feel that every professional could use to help improve their value in the workplace. Just to recap, that's the report, the letter, the quick appendix, and the meeting minutes. If you found these helpful, hit the like button. But on this channel, I like to share the sorts of tools, tips, and tricks that professionals can use to improve their value in the workplace. My name's Chris, and this is Engineered Upgrade. Hopefully, I'll see you in the next video.